Hey everyone, so it's been a little while since I posted a video, about a week or two. Um, that's just because I had two commission paintings that I was working on, both the Colorado flag that I've already done a video on, so I figured you probably didn't want to see that again. Um, and those are now almost done. I'm just varnishing the last one. And I've just had kid, one kid going back to school and another kid moving out and car repairs and all sorts of craziness. So I needed a minute to catch up. Um, and before I get into like a flow painting, which is just what I love to do, um, I figured I wanted to do an experiment. This one I've been thinking about for a little while. I really like to experiment with this, uh, the alcohol, um, because I'm really looking for a specific effect and I'm not quite getting there yet. I'm getting close, but not all the way there. So I wanted to try a couple different things. So <clears throat> I am using this Artist Loft Cobalt Blue. Now in these cups, I've got this blue with variations of water and Floetrol. Um, I anticipate bringing in, or well, pouring one here, one here, one here, and one here, and then using the alcohol on top to see if it reacts differently or works better depending on the thickness of your paint. I'm sure it does, but I really want to see it to believe it. Um, and then one of them that I have closer to my normal like consistency, I want to throw some spray paint on top and then use the alcohol on that. So to bring you guys in closer for a look at these paints, here you go. So these are the four different um, mixes that I have of the blue. This one's pretty close to what I normally do, normally use. It might be a little bit on the thinner side. So it's like this much paint, a little bit of Floetrol, and just a tiny bit of water. And then as we go down the line, it's less paint, more Floetrol, more water. So this one's a little bit more Floetrol, a little bit more water. You can see it's not quite as bright blue as the other. Um, and then the pigment continues to dwindle as we go down, but these are getting into like watercolor type of washes. This one especially. And it's got a little bit of floaties in it from the inside of the cup, but I'm not worried about that. So this is what we are going to use for the variations. So I chose cobalt blue on an old painting. Um, this is one I don't really, didn't really care for the outcome. Um, I mean, it was cool. I like some of the effects, but don't love the colors so much because this, this uh, mustardy color really took over. So I'm going to use this for my experiment, and I'm using cobalt blue because, you know, those colors go so nicely together. Yeah, I know. Um, so, but the cool thing is, is that if I use the blue on top and I get the separation effects that I'm looking for, I'll really be able to see these colors pop out from underneath. And I'm not wasting more canvas because this one's just been sitting in my garage since I did it. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this experiment started. All right, so I had a little disaster over here, almost a disaster. Um, I was tipping the camera down and didn't realize that I didn't have the camera locked all the way into the tripod. Don't make that error at home because you don't want to break your camera. So it fell down into uh, and bounced this uh, the thinnest paint over. So I had to remake that one. Um, but let's go ahead. We've reco I've recovered, and it's time to get this one started. So I'm going to take the thinnest and I'm going to pour it in this area. I'm going to take the second thinnest, pour it here. This is a little bit thicker. And this one is the thickest of them. Like I said, this one is pretty close to, it's a little thinner than I usually use. So let's move these around a little bit. Of course, the thinner ones are going to move around a lot quicker and easier. Oh, and before I get them mixed together, we'll stop right there. Now you can already see through this one, you can see the painting behind it and into this one. These ones you cannot see the red and black and yellow 
um, underneath it. So I've got my paintbrush. I'm going to dip this into, well, let me take the cap off first, into the alcohol. I'm just going to get it real wet in there, covered. Now I'm just going to tap it against my hand. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but you can see it immediately going through the paint and then it comes back. Um, so might be that that's too thin. Let's see about this one. Okay, you can see that it gets all the way through to the bottom of the canvas and then it comes back again. All right, I might not be able to get this effect. Maybe I'm trying, not doing the right thing, I don't know. Let's try this one. So the thing about this one is it's coming back and filling. Ooh. Let's see if it stays. All right, this one already has paint on it. I'm gonna let everything sit for a minute, um, maybe dry up a little bit, and then try a little bit more. But this one I wanted to try with the alcohol. And it already has a little bit of alcohol just from me spraying everything else but we'll see what happens here. Oh, that's already reacting to some of the alcohol that's on there. Hmm. So let's put some more on. You can definitely see where the alcohol was on the paint already because it keeps churning it. And now these are separating. But it's not moving as much as it was. So let's take this, do a little bit more. What I'm trying to find is like a marbling effect. I really like, I think just even the reaction of the spray paint on top of uh, the paint, the acrylic paint, might get me pretty darn close to what I'm looking for. Pour a little bit more down. Oh yeah, that might be the trick. That might be what I'm looking for, is to use more spray paint. Just a thin, layer of paint on top. <clears throat> but see, this has binders in it that keeps it together. This is just <laughs> colored water almost. So let's see if we can get some separation back in on this. I've got a little bit. Okay, if I were to do it with a wash, I would really have to get that paint moved around a lot so that it's as thin as it can be. This one, I can't seem to get to go all the way through to the canvas. It does initially, and then it fills back in. This one, same thing. It's got a little bit of a wash to it. I would have to add a lot of alcohol to get it to separate and stay. And this one just doesn't have the effect. I'm really loving this. And so I think what I'm trying to do with the alcohol on a regular basis is not really getting me what where I want to be, but I really think that doing this can. So let me bring you in closer for a look so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Okay, so you see this really marbling effect that's going on? That's what I've been looking for. Maybe I just need to combine more spray paint, which doesn't hurt my feelings because I love working with spray paint. Um, I'll pull you over to that thicker puddle. See how there's, like there's little things in there, but it's not really getting all the way down to the canvas. So, that didn't work out. So then we go to the thinner and it just kind of made it messy. Sure, it got through a little bit, but it's very transparent in here. Um, and it's not really holding. 
So when I put that alcohol on there, it doesn't really hold the separation. And even more so over here, although I was able to dry up the paint with the alcohol in these areas and keep it completely separated. But still not in a cool pattern like this. So I definitely learned something here. The effect I'm looking for requires paint and um, acrylic paint and spray paint. And I can keep it just as thin and that pigment just as rich as I currently have. All right, guys. Let me know if there's any experiment out there that you guys would really like me to try out because even though I'm, I really love the in the flow paintings, I really love learning new techniques and I never want to stop doing that. So if you have any experiments you'd like to see, go ahead and comment below. If you like this video and you thought it was a little helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button because i got a lot more coming. If ever you have questions about the materials that I use, I also link those in the description below. All right, that's it for me today. Hope you guys all take care until next time.